Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us again for another Learning Bite. Before we do anything, we'd just like to acknowledge the country from which we're speaking to you today. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which I'm speaking to you from today, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. I also acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which each of you are living, learning and working from today. As we share our knowledge and skills, may we also pay respect to our elders, both past, present and, as, and emerging, as it is their knowledge and experiences that hold the key to the success of future generations. Thanks, Philippa. So what we're looking at today is online voting, if you like, and we've got a couple of things that we want to mention to you today. The first thing that we want to mention is that there's this thing called Tricida. So I'll just share this screen now. Tricida allows you to share something with people and have them upvote it. So you can see I've got a poll here running in Tricida. Now it's free to join, but I have obviously logged in and that's why it has my name here. I haven't paid any extra or anything like that. So you can see here, I've got a where to go in New South Wales, this Christmas poll, when should I go on a holiday? I haven't got any ideas yet because I haven't shared it with anyone. So you can see there's a share and invite option. And when I click that, I can share it in various ways. I'm just going to copy that link and I'm going to pop that in the chat. So now down in the chat there, I've just popped that link. So you should be able to click on that and you won't be invited to join or anything like that, but you will be able to participate in that poll. I'm just going to go to my chat on this iPad that I'm a member of this meeting with, and I'm going to add an idea. And you can see there, it's pretty obvious. My idea, I'm going to go to, so I've just upvoted, I've just voted. And now back here in Tresida, I'm going to close that window and I'm going to refresh this screen. So when I click refresh, I should see people's <laughs> responses. And you can see there that, you can see there that what Sue has said. Now, I'm, um, as a participant in this poll, Philippa, she can click on Sue's link there. I've got to go, I've got to go back to uh, Yeah, so if, if Sue goes back to that, if, if Philippa goes back there, she'll see that she can actually click on... Oh, do I have to refresh? Uh, yeah, so just refresh. refresh. Yeah. And the shortcut to refresh is F5, or you can um, click that little oh. roundy, roundy thing. Okay, I'll upvote you because you're coming to my house. Right. So <laughs> when I refresh there, you can see someone has said they're going to go to Philippa's house. Uh, Sue is going to uh, go to the Queensland if the border's open. So Philippa's adding a note. So now if we refresh our screen, you'll see that Philip has upvoted going to her house. And Philippa, you can also add an argument. So if, uh, if you click on add argument, okay. you'll see that when you add an argument, you're given the option of having a pro or a con. That's what the plus and the minus is. So a, a, a pro, a positive for Philippa's house is it's near the beach. And so when I save that and I've put my name against it, I click save and now everybody not only sees my upvote and that's that star with a one, um, and it's been upvoted by Philippa. And Sue, you should be able to see as everybody else can, the upvote and the comment. I've just refreshed my screen and Philippa tells me the garden's looking fabulous. So Tresida, if you were in a meeting, and notice I did say meeting, if you're in a meeting and you wanted people to be able to contribute, not only to the, to the um, discussion, but also to be able to upvote, this is a one tool that would allow you to do that. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I am going to quit this meeting 
because I want you to leave this meeting and come back in to a webinar. Okay, so because this is a webinar, you don't have any real privileges. All you can do is watch my screen and that's because I'm the panelist. So when I go into participants, I can see one panelist and I can't share my screen. I can't show you this. You can't share Zoom in Zoom, but I can see there's one panelist. There are eight attendees. Someone just had their hand up, but they've put it down <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was an accident. <laughs> we won't say who it was, Sam, so it's okay. Now, um, if I just say I wanted Caroline to be able to, Caroline's in the room with us, so I wanted Caroline to be able to participate at an elevated level. I wanted her to be able to share her screen, to uh, contribute, talk. What I do is I would roll over her name. Now you're all familiar with what I'm saying there, and I'm going to promote her to a panellist. And so now she's getting a message on her screen that says she's rejoining the meeting as a panellist. Um, but if, uh, Carolyn, can you start your video? Yes, she can. Sometimes uh, you have to do one extra step. And so if you're running a webinar, please speak um, to, you know, Tal or Stan or me or someone, and we'll, we'll just work you through a couple of things because it's a little bit tricky about whether you're a panelist or not. And you'll see when I, um, I'll, I'll demote Carolyn back to being a, so. <laughs> um, uh, just a, a regular, regular punter, punter <laughs> if you like. Um, so change her role to attendee and she's back to being an attendee. So there are two things we wanted to mention and we had to be, no. And we had to be in Zoom to do this. Down the bottom of my screen, I can see a menu that you can't see. I'm going to share my screen because I've, I've done some, um, a quick PowerPoint recording of the things I wanted to point out to you. So here we are in, um, in PowerPoint. No, I'm in the not showing the slideshow view. I, that's fine for now. Um, so there's what I'm seeing down the bottom, that panel across the bottom, mute, stop video, couple of participants. This was when I took the screenshot, Q and A chat, share screen record. You don't have all those options because I'm the host and you're not a panelist. If I was to promote you to a panelist, you would see something similar. Um, the Q and A down the bottom, when I open Q and A in Zoom, this is the typical view that I get. So I've got the Q&A is open. There are no answered questions. I, I did a test, so there's one dismissed. But you can see here, allow anonymous questions or answered questions only. So I'm going to show you though in the next slide, if you allow anonymous questions, that's okay. But the, the key difference here is I've allowed all questions. So I'll just go back one slide. I've allowed all questions and I've ticked the box that says attendees can upvote. So I'm going to do that now in q and I'm going to open q and and uh, I'll just point out the, the, the way you do it is through that little cog menu there. Now, if it's turned on for this webinar, Next time I run a webinar, it's off. It's not a universal setting that sticks. So you have to remember to turn it on for every single Q&A, for every single webinar that you do. But it's really, really valuable. And Vanessa Sharif showed me this Monday last week. Uh, she, she tripped over it and, and shared it with me. And I thought it was so worthwhile sharing. Um, so I'm going to open a Q&A. I'm going to go to that little bizzo. I'm going to allow all questions and I'm going to allow you to upvote. So now can some of you go to a Q&A down the bottom and ask a question or say something. And then what I want you to do is to just upvote other people's responses and have a look at the experience when you do that. If you have a webinar running, Often, and today was a perfect example. Carlo ran a fabulous webinar this morning for teacher librarians. It finished, you know, 10 minutes early. Um, it was a meeting 
because we had breakout rooms. But if it was a webinar and you didn't have breakout rooms, then you could have included a Q&A and the speakers might have been able to address something like that for the last five minutes. So. Did you have a question, Sam? Sam's got a question. So we can't do this in a Zoom meeting. It's only but, in a webinar. Right. And so this is one of the complications, isn't it, with Zoom? God, do I want a meeting? Do I want a webinar? If I want breakout rooms, it has to be a meeting. If I want break, if I if I want Q and A, it has to be a webinar. Oh. What if I want breakout rooms with a Q and A? Yeah. Then I'm stuck because Zoom doesn't do both. But um, there's always a but, isn't there? What we found yesterday, and Sue mentioned something that I had looked at before, and that is this site called Slide. That's Slido. Slido. Okay, so Slido. Um, when you join Slido, you're allowed to um, post a, a, a question. Now, when I first looked at it, you can see here, it's got live polls. So you can do multiple choice and word clouds and things like that. And I, at the time I thought, that's not that useful. I know how to do those things in other tools. This audience Q&A option though, I'm presenting from a free account. Uh, you can see I've uh, created a couple of questions here. I'm going to go up here to present. And when I present, you'll get either a QR, you'll get a QR code, but you'll also get a join at slido.com. So can you just use a device? I don't care what it is. Go to join at slido.com. And there's the number of our Slido, 32061. And when you, um, when you join, or you can use your phone for the um, QR code. I'm just doing that now. That's amazing. They used this one at the English, primary English, con or the English conference on the weekend, last weekend, which is what? I hope it works, because this is the one we made yesterday. I hope it hasn't expired. And if it does expire, I apologise. No, it looks like no, it's no. going to be OK. Yeah, can um, we pay more super? So now, anonymous, can we pay more super? I'm going to upvote that. I just upvoted. It was on four. It's now on five. And now it's on six. So to answer Sam's question, if I run a meeting because I want breakout rooms, can I do a poll with thumbs up, adding more things? Yes, use Slido. And the, QR code. and the QR code makes it really easy for people. Some of you probably went to slido.com and entered the hash number there to get to the same spot on a, um, on a browser. That's okay. what we really wanted to show you. So in summary, you've got webinars and meetings both have their advantages, but I think Slido and Trisida makes it possible to have a meeting with and breakout rooms that are super good, but also use another tool to do your upvoting of, of polls. Before you go, there's one just, last yes. thing that I need to mention, Don't and that's forget. this. That's a great so I'm just tip the next one. going through here. Are you talking about? Upgrading uh, and, yeah. and so choosing your own rooms. Yeah. In breakout rooms, one of the options you now have in breakout rooms is to allow participants to choose their own room. Ooh, that's interesting. Right? So you can you could create four rooms. But you could have kindy. Right? And you could have stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. And you've got a school PL session running. And you say, right, I've, I've made these rooms. I'm not going to allocate you because I don't know what Carolyn teaches. I don't know what Nikki teaches, but you know, so you can put yourselves in the rooms. Off you go. And you can check the box that says allow participants to choose their own room. That but. is a new feature and it relies on the person in the Zoom meeting having a current version of Zoom. Oh, okay. So... And my screen here, in order to update yourself, that screen here is showing, all you've got to do is search for Zoom and press enter and up comes the familiar thing uh, that, that is showing on the screen there. It's not showing on the screen. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then, then yeah. click on your face and check for updates. That's all you've got to do. Um, somebody, Georgia showed me a, an email today saying, is this legitimate? Uh, and it was a Zoom, do you want to update or something? And I said, look, I don't know. Why don't you just update it through the app? Because I know this is not um, at risk of anything. I've run this by Adam and he said, yeah, you know, go for your life. Um, from the IT department's perspective, he's not concerned if we're updating these by ourselves. Uh, and if you do that, this is what you now get. You can create breakout rooms and let the participants choose a room. Now, if they haven't updated, you will have a couple of people floating and you'll need to click and allocate them to a room. Oh, so you can do that. Okay, so anyone who hasn't uh, got a current version, um, you'll be able to do that. If you were doing this with a school, I think I'd probably do a test the day before with the person I'm coordinating at the school with, and then you'll know if it's it's going to work. Because if if everyone needs to be allocated, you're no better off. You're, you're better just to um, assign them either automatically or manually, because it gets really messy. So hopefully there's a couple of useful um, bits in there for you. Any questions? Um, can you limit the size of the rooms, says Catherine, so they don't all go in one room? I don't know, Catherine. Good question. That's a really good question. I suppose um, there is a danger that everyone's going to just choose room one, but that's why I think you would have specific names allocated to the breakout rooms. And in your presentation, you'd be saying, so listen, this is the reason you're going to go into these rooms, not just rooms one to five, pick a room. Give people a, a reason to meet with their colleagues. It might be a high school faculty, you know, geography, history, mm. whatever. Mm. Primary school it's, works really well with the stages. So, yeah. yeah. Or other particular kind of. Mm. Uh, the other little gem I saw the other day in someone else's presentation was, um, okay, you're going into breakout rooms. We'll see you back here in 10 minutes. The person with the first alphabetical order Christian name is the reporter yeah. oh, and the next funny. time the person, the person with the, the last second, yeah. alphabetical order surname is the reporter it was great I can't remember whose meeting it was but I wish I'd thought of it because how often do we report back and um, look to each other they're like yes yeah. who's going to who's going to balk first so but I thought that was a good idea because that's entirely fair and reasonable. And if you have a couple of breakout rooms, you'll get through, you know, a number of different people. Um, thanks, everybody. Oh, dear. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks See you next much. time. Bye. Bye.